Hey guys, so I'm out here on the farm getting ready to push a little bit of snow. Um, kind of hiding back here behind the garage because the wind is blowing so you can hear me. So I've got the Snow Sport HD plow on the back of my truck and uh, I picked this thing up this fall. I've used it twice now at home on my tractor and it works, it works pretty well. I've been happy with it. So this is the first um, time I'm going to use it on the back of my truck and, and we get a lot of wind out here and as you can see most of the snow actually blew off the driveway so that's not bad. There's a drift over here in front of the house. Um, I'm going to push this out of the way a little bit and then over here in front of the shed um, there's a pretty decent drift there. I'm going to say that's probably 18 inches deep maybe something like that and I've got trailers in here so I need to have access to that. So this is going to be this will be a decent test for this plow so we'll see how it goes. Um, I know I'm going to have comments that are going to say that it's a lot easier to use this thing on the front of the truck and I realize that. I know that those front hitches are really pretty inexpensive, but um, I don't really want to cut my air dam in the front of my truck. And I'm not honestly a huge fan of having those um, those two inch receivers on the front of on the front of a vehicle. So I just don't want to do that. So the little bit that I'm going to use this, I'm just going to use it in reverse. We'll see how it goes. Combination of uh, you know rear camera and mirrors and you'll head over the shoulder. I think it'll work okay. So I'll set the camera up and let's push some snow drifts.
All right, so I guess that's it. You can see how tall this drift is here. This is, I mean, that's almost up to my knee. And I pushed out from in front of the house. I, yeah, thing's pretty durable. I accidentally hit the, when I was first backing up here, I accidentally hit this old wellhead, uh, that concrete slab, and it kind of hit bound a little bit, but it jumped over the top of it. And then you can see these drifts that I pushed back over here in front of this shed. Got it all cleared out so I can get my trailers out. And then I actually pushed back here a ways further. I've got a guy coming to do repairs on this shed and on my barn, actually in a couple weeks. So I should have pushed this whole pile back further. Um, but I just pushed a couple of paths. He can get around the shed and then he can get back most of the way back here to the barn. But that's a decent amount of snow that I pushed. And I cleared out, you know, probably 35 feet wide here. So that works pretty good. You know, for if you're if you're plowing snow every day, this thing's probably maybe not the ticket, but um, for what I need it for, for for kind of an occasional use for clearing out this wide area, um, it works good. For what it costs, I think it's a decent solution, so I'm happy with it. Snow Sport HD seems like it's a keeper. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.